Well, hello again, guys. This is Christian Bassar with another episode of History Vice Video Blog. So last time we talked about the old believers uh, in Russia and how they were persecuted for various reforms. And also, according to using that as an example, I talked about the power of an idea. So this time I'm talking about something completely different. And this is the history of the Kazon. And you're probably thinking, what the heck is a Kazon? Well, a Kazon is a Dutch dog breed. And they're also known as the Dutch barge dog. Some people think that these dogs were used to pull the barges along the Rhine River and to buy the docks and everything like that. Apparently that's nonsense that wouldn't happen because these dogs are usually fairly small. And and I actually have a Kazon myself. And she's actually at my uh, parents' house, so she's not here at the moment. But uh, here's a picture of her. Having experience with the Kazons, there she's definitely very chatty and relatively fairly easy to train. She was a summer little puppy, but you know she's very, um, very obedient and whatever by now, right? So, and apparently that's an that's a part of the breed. Like they're very loyal, very eager to train and eager to please. So uh, that's a good quality for the Dutch barge dog. What they were meant to do, they were meant to protect the family barges along the Rhine River. So, they are also in the Spitz family, so that means there's some, they're in the same kind of group as uh, Chow Chow, and even Pomeranians, and, um, and also uh, Siberian Huskies. So anyway, so there's a little bit of uh, trivia there. Uh, definitely, if you are looking for a dog, um, I would definitely recommend Kazon. They're very friendly, uh, family friendly. Just keep in mind that they, uh, they're very furry. They apparently have three layers of fur, so yeah, there's a lot of grooming involved. But anyway, so this is a history blog. This is not uh, a dog uh, grooming site. So let's get on to the history of this breed. So the breed actually became quite popular in the in, in Europe in the Middle Ages, and especially, you know, obviously Holland, where it originated. And apparently there's fossil evidence of a dog breed very similar to this, or even this dog itself, around uh, 5000 BC. And actually, in the 1700s, the Kazon became a very um, became a symbol for the Patriots movement. And the Patriots were a rebellious political faction in Holland in the late 1700s. You know, they had various grie many grievances against uh, William V and his ruling House of Orange. So, among these grievances were, you know, there were many. There was um, they wanted to increase democracy, and in fact, the American Revolution, which had just occurred or recently occurred, they actually used the American independence model, you know, the American Independ Declaration of Independence and so on, as inspiration for their own um, independent movement. So, it and they had this grievance, there was unemployment as well, there was inheritance of posts, like government posts, and also there was major issues with uh, the decline of the East Dutch or the Dutch East India Company, which was a major trading uh, company um, in Southeast Asia. And so, and actually, uh, the Dutch East Asia Company, it's known by its Dutch initials VOC. And I'll try and I'll try and uh, pronounce that Verenigit uh, Oost Indisch Company. So that's. Uh, Part of my Dutch. So those were some of the grievances they had, and so in the late 1780s, the Patriots rebelled. They came up in open rebellion. They had militia and everything like that. But it didn't last too too long because in September 1787, there was uh, Charles William Ferdinand. He was a Prussian general. He actually defeated the Patriots in battle. So the Patriots' dream of independence was gone, and the House of Orange was restored. So, as I said before, the Kazon's breed became a symbol for the Patriots, and there was actually a leader named Cornelius de uh, Giselar. So, and Cornelius happened to have a Kazon as a pet. So, and also, Patriots were known as uh, Kisen, and, and so we get Kies Hund, so Kies Dog. And actually, there many believe that there was a <laughs> after the House of Orange came back, there was a systematic like trying to exterminate the breed. The ruling house was afraid that this would be, you know, there would be a symbol that this um, that another rebellion could form around. 
And so after the rebellion was finished, the many patriots fled to northern France. Uh, some of them, I believe it was three, three leaders ran to the United States, actually. And, but a bunch of them ran to northern France, and they eventually formed the Batavian Republic. And they were actually supported. Uh, this happened in 1795, and they were actually supported by the revolutionary French. So, uh, but fortunately, well, the extermination was not complete, and we do have a bunch of Kisons running around today. So, that is uh, this episode of uh, History Vice Video Blog. Hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please like and um, share this video and subscribe to the channel, and you'll get more uh, updates and new videos as they come out. Alright, have a great weekend, and have a great time.